Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Your source for the hottest, nasty, most filthiest videos on YouTube. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my videos are all about, I love talking about things I'm passionate about, man. Movies, comic books, video games. I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If that's the type of thing you're into, you might want to check out my other content and if you like what you see, do subscribe, and if you like what you see here, you want to learn more about me, I got a Twitter, I got an Instagram, if you like video game related stuff, we also have a Twitch. Same username, all throughout, David A. Qua. So what I have here is another series of books, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. I got books 2 to 13. Yeah, that's right, the first one is not here. Unlike Diary of a Kid, I got like books 1 through 13 complete. Uh... For the time being, anyway, until they release, release another one. But uh, here, a series of unfortunate events. I only have books 2 to 13, so the first one's not here, all right? So we're going to check through all the ones, all the covers, front, back, see from there. As you can see, yep, the spines line up really nicely, huh? It looks really good on your shelves. So, Reptile Room, book number 2. This is the story of uh, some orphans. We got um, uh, uh, Violet. We got a uh, we got a Klaus. Whoops. We got a we got a we got a Sunny, right? And uh, if you haven't checked out the series, it's actually pretty clever. Okay, and they made movies and stuff like that too. There, there was a movie starring with Jim Carrey, and there was also a TV series on Netflix. So check it out, okay? We got the uh, wide window, okay? This is book number three. And there's a little uh, letter from Lemony Snicket right there. You can just pause and read, read these, okay? The fourth book in the Baudelaire Children's series, The Miserable Mill. There's the front. Here's the back. Okay. Book number five. The Austere Academy. I have not read these. But I'm familiar with the characters. I've seen the movie. I've, uh, I haven't finished watching the Netflix uh, the uh, series. But... Uh, I've, I've checked it out. I've seen trailers, I've seen clips and stuff like that. There is Sats Elevator. I like how in the story they like use everyday things. Like I remember one time, uh, Sonny had a doll. They took a spring from the, from the car, tied a shoelace onto it, and they made like this projectile thing. <laughs> Book number seven, The Vow Village. I like how each of these have a, a little letter to the reader, you know, from the author himself. A series of unfortunate events from Let Me Sneak It, yeah. Here's book number eight, The Hostile Hospital. There's the front, there's the back. You can just pause and read all that. Book number nine, The Carnivorous Carnival. Got a lion in the front there. Meat eating. That's what carnivorous means. Carnivores. I noticed the books get, would get wider too. Uh, slippery Slope. I believe that's Sunny right there. Here's a letter to the reader. Book number 11, Grim Grotto. Looks like the kids are underwater. And there's a letter to the reader. Unless you are a slug, you probably prefer not to be damp. <laughs> to penultimate peril. And there are the orphans right there. 
If this is the first book you found while searching for a book to read next, then the first thing you should know is that this next to last book is what you should put down first. <laughs> and then the final book in the series, The End. Here's the front and here's the back. You're presumably looking at the back of this book or the end of the end. The end of the end is the best place to begin the end because if you read the end from the beginning of the beginning of the end to the end of the end of the end, you will arrive at the end of the end of the rope. <laughs> Very clever. Cute. All right. So that is the series. Let me know if you've read this series yourself. Let me know if you like it. If you've seen the movie or the series and it's good, let me know that too. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.